The truth never destroys, it's the error that destroys, right? And it's the truth that exposes the error and the pain that a person feels in experiencing truth is not about them experiencing truth. It's about them feeling the law of compensation or the law of karma about their error. Do you follow me? So, for example, you know, in families you see this a lot. Where, where a lie has been perpetrated. Like, in my family, my mother had an affair and my brother, my youngest brother, was a result of that affair, right? And, and, that, um, and my youngest brother was never told and he was now 25 years old. Right? So he never knew. Sorry? Were you told? I was never told. None of us were ever told. Um, but I knew when I was 10 years old that my brother was the result of an affair. Now my mother didn't realise that I knew. Or they thought that I'd covered it all up, right? So what I went is I went to my mum and dad and I sat down with them and said, look, in three months' time, if you haven't told my brother the truth, I'm going to tell him the truth. And I gave them three months because I thought it might take them that long to work through some, some emotions about it if they were going to. I probably should have given them a day or two, but I gave them three months. And then I went to my brother and said, Mum and Dad have got something to tell you, and if you haven't heard from him in three months, I'll tell you. <laughs> Did your father know? Father knew. Yep. What happened was my mother and father yelled. <laughs> my mother went into this state of a, a week of shame and she just cried uncontrollably for a week and released all of this emotion of, of shame about what, what she'd done 25 years earlier. She'd never released that shame until that point. Did you feel guilty for making her cry? Or no, her? no, not at all. Because I knew by that stage that the truth was the most important thing. Was it actually your, your responsibility to say that truth mm -hmm. in that case? Can you see what some of your beliefs about truth are? Yeah. <coughs> Why would it always be my responsibility to say the truth? Because you know the truth. Exactly. And it's a loving thing. Has that never struck you before? <laughs> <laughs> if you know the truth, why are you not saying it? Because it has nothing to do with Well, isn't that a fear? Am I living in love when I'm in fear? No. No. So if I'm in love, what would I do? I would tell the truth. If I know it, I would tell it. And if he had have been not told to protect his feelings and then found out by someone that wasn't his family, then it would have been way more... Well, let me describe the whole event, because in the end, none of his feelings were protected by him not knowing the truth. What actually happened was that... Uh, so I'll describe some, what actually happened three months later, right? After my father got very, very angry with me, and, uh, and as a result of a lot of this anger, I had to—I was living at home at the time after a, um, a marriage breakup, and and I had to leave the house. So, so I had to live on my own. And it was a time I was going through some very core emotions of my own, where I was going through a breakdown of my own. So it was a really hard thing for me to even contemplate doing all these things. So now, and. Um, there was uh, my brother, who now doesn't know the truth yet. My parents who are in this really agitated state. My brother wanting to know why mum's upstairs crying for a whole week. right? And uh, my brother's 25, I'm 35. Now, three months later, I went to my brother and I said, um, have mum and dad told you um, the truth yet? And I knew that they hadn't. Uh, and, uh, and he said, oh, no, but I think I know what it is. And I said, oh, what do you think it is? Oh, uh, uh, you know, um, Dad's not my dad. <laughs> but he'd known all that time in his heart, right, because of the way he was treated by my parents. Right? And it caused him so much confusion because he could see he was being treated totally differently than the rest, than, than myself and my sister, Jenny. So Joel went in this state where he, he understood things really rapidly. Right? Now, my father refused to speak to me from seven years for seven years as a result of that. Right? My mother got very, very upset with me for three years, and my brother didn't speak to me for three years either. <coughs> Why didn't your brother speak to you? Uh, because he felt um, that 
that uh, I was too open with the truth. And he felt ashamed of himself being the product of an affair, which of course is his mother's shame that he was unwilling to experience, and in fact still has not experienced. He refuses to experience that shame that is a part of mum's emotions that were passed down to him. So instead of experiencing that shame, he wanted to get angry with me, which is what he did. And it took him three years to work through that. Right. Now, my feelings were that it was all great. <laughs> because, firstly, I gave every single person an opportunity to experience the truth. And I didn't make the choice for them, which is an act of love. When you make a choice for someone else, it's no longer an act of love. Can you see why? It's an act of control. So if I make the choice to not tell you the truth, I am actually controlling you. Because I feel you're not going to cope with the truth, right? So what am I making? I'm making a decision for you. I'm saying that you're not going to cope with the truth, so I'm not going to tell you it. I'm making a decision for you. And what am I doing? I'm harming your free will doing that. You have complete control over your life, which means that when you find out the truth, you have complete control and responsibility for everything you choose to do as a result of knowing that truth. And I'm not responsible for any of that. So this is why I've said, right, remember right back at the first time you met me? Most of you, a lot of you, it was you low here in January, right? And I sat down with you, the first truth I need to tell you was who I am. Why did I have to do that? Because if we got to this stage, and then I started saying to you, oh, by the way, I'm Jesus, how would you react to that? Wouldn't you feel duped and lied to and deceived and all these different feelings you would have? And in fact, you would be justified in having them because I made a decision for you. I made it, if I had not told you then, I would, have, I would have made a decision for you that you couldn't cope with that. Right? That you couldn't cope emotionally with that truth. And in doing that, I'm in error. You follow me? And as soon as I'm in error, I'm, my connection with God's lost now. So it's very important for you to do the same thing. Stay in the truth at all times with all of your reactions and interactions.